Okay. There's been a lot of talk on Google Night here. What is Linux? What, what do we use Linux in? Do we use Linux and not realize it? You know, a lot of the Linux people, you know, gurus, users, whatever you want to call them, a lot of Linux users debate the merits of, you know, their operating system versus Windows or OS X. Personally, I got an iBook that runs up in OS X Leopard. I have Windows XP, and currently I'm running in a triple boot on my main machine. Again, I am running Windows XP, I am running Ubuntu 9.04, and I am running a distro called Trinautics. Now, that being said, what do I use? I use them all. Each one has a different function and form for me. I don't have, a PC to me is not like this all-in-one convergence device. Um, there are certain programs on the OS X that I can't get on a PC. I can find equivocals, sort of. You know, I can't find iMovie on Windows. I can find Adobe Premiere Elements, which is within my price range of affordability. Um, but I can't do certain things in Elements that I can in iMovie, and I can't do certain things in Elements that I can do in iMovie. So I use both. Now there are other programs that are multi-platform. If I want to do audio editing, I can use Audacity. It's available for every platform. Want to play all the movie files you can think of? VLC player. It's relative to what you're using. Now as far as the debate, do we use Linux every day? Yes, we do. And we don't know it. I work at a very big retail we're a very big retail company. And, you know, the customers would flip their lids if they knew they were running something, like the computers, the checkout systems were running something other than Windows. Yeah, we have a few Windows POS systems. Sorry for those who are not informed what POS stands for. It does not stand for piece of shit relative to the operating system. Um, it stands for point of sale system. You know, swipe cards, uh, debit cards, credit cards, point of sale systems. On top of your scan, you know, your barcodes and all that stuff. Those systems, for us, all run on Linux. Our back end, like our inventory system and all that other stuff, mission critical stuff that lets us know what we have in stock, that runs on Linux. Our thin client system, Runs on Windows. And customers don't know that they're running, you know, they're swiping a card through a Linux system. They don't care. It's a swipe card terminal that they're using to purchase shit. They don't care. They don't care what the, the GUI on the front end looks like to punch in numbers and stuff. They, they don't care about that as far as the registry is concerned. They just want their shit to work. Another sentiment, as in my last video, I bought an Arcos Cisco 4. I bought it because it was within my price range. It was a did the functions I was looking for at the price I wanted. And yeah, okay, I'm not, being a Linux user, I like the fact that it ran Linux, so that was just kind of an added plus for me. But I didn't go out of my way to specifically look for Linux on that device. Now, yeah, I could go and specifically have looked for that device or other devices that run Linux. Now, I could specifically have a TomTom uh, GPS. Don't need it. I could specifically have a Sony Bravia TV that will more than likely run a Linux type system on it. Certain DVD players run Linux. TiVo runs Linux. People are installing Linux on their PS3s. Hell, some people even stole it on the friggin' Xbox 360. It's all relative to what you're looking for. Personally, I'd say use all three. Use what works for you. That includes Linux distros, different SKUs of Windows, OS X, Unix, 
BSD, now Tiki Pay. Use what works for you. But we do use Linux on an everyday basis, and we just don't know it. And for most functions, that's what we need. We just need, people don't need to know how it works, they just need to know that it works. That's my own thought.